so some drills that we worked on today, some of the thoughts that we worked on today was a lot of double stick and specifically the florete motion. So real quick, we'll talk florete. And if he just takes one stick, and I just want you to hold it in cut because I want to talk about the, th the three ways, in my opinion, the three ways that you can operate florete. The first way I was ever taught is with a circle, okay? A circle and a slash. So I move the stick, I interrupt the stick, and I slash the hand, okay? So circle and slash. Uh, a second way this can be approached is if you have, I mean, you can just use the back edge, but if you have something that has a back edge, you've got this motion where I can come in here and down, right? So here, now this, not a good use for this position, right? But more along the lines of I come in here and I hit here and I hit here. So I ride in the back and ride out. Additionally, and the one that we work today is the idea of hitting in, edge first, rolling out, and striking down, okay? This can still be stuff like this here, right? That's kind of the, the function of that. As I bring the edge, I roll, I bring the edge. In our particular numbering system, this would be striking an angle one, rolling to a parada six, and then striking an angle one. Okay. So that was the beginning. So the beginning we just worked empty, right? Working empty. Then we move to two sticks, still working empty. I work this way, I work this way, right? And we worked solo. Then we move to working the sticks where he just holds the stick so I can find this motion here, can find this motion here. Okay, so this is the way that we start. So then this is the natural progression to us doing it together because it's a mirror-based drill. I come in here and hit and we added this back slash to bring us back to this point. Okay, so just a way for us both to work florete on both sides at the same time. Okay, now where'd we go from there? We worked into... Worked, uh, around? Is that me? Not yet. So then we went into the idea of working a target. Okay, so as I work the target, as he strikes here, I look at, okay, here's this, and I work the hand. Okay, so this is just seeing this position here. Working the target, maybe I strike for the hand first. So as this comes in, I interrupt sooner to the hand, move to the side, work to the head. This could also be to a low line target, right? So he comes in, hit, hit, right? So just working the idea of targeting, right? So here's these targeting motions. Naturally, as he carries that through, so carry that strike through, I smash this and I work this, right? Boom, boom. It, Part of the idea is just the idea of the two strikes happening from the same side of the body. Naturally, I'd go, ah, ah, right? But that's what he's gonna do too. So instead, I go, bah, bah. okay? From there, to help illustrate the idea of the importance of this rolling motion, we worked into a, a drum strike kind of strike. So he hits one, I rotate this. This would be a place that I could trap and thrust but instead, we just work the line, step, and slash the body. Okay, so one, here. Okay, let's change the angle just a little bit, kind of this way. Here. Then to mix in footwork, okay, this drill, this part of the drill is gonna look very non-applicable uh, because he's not gonna do a lot. But the point is not what he does, the point is what I'm practicing and then it becomes something we put together. So in this case, I start the same drill. Rotate and slash. And in this slash, I'm stepping off on that angled line. I'm driving my hips and slashing through. Now, for the purposes of working footwork and a little bit of exercise, I'm gonna switch, ball hin. You could do this one time, you could do this two times. I'm working the whole circle so that I get a lot of time to work the footwork, and then we do it again. Okay, so one, two, slash. We also did this with two sticks. We actually didn't do it with one stick. We only did it with two sticks, but <laughs> besides the point. So as I come in here, then as I switch, I hit with this one, hit with this one. Realistic? No, because he's not just gonna stand there. 
but realistic from the idea of this is my goal. My goal is to get in here and be working. And if he decides to turn, then I need to keep working, right? But mostly I'm just having to practice. I'm just working footwork, I'm working the angles. I've got a visual context to move around and I'm getting the effort out, okay? Then from there, where did we go from there? Sometimes. Oh yeah, so that was the, kind of the last thing we worked for a little bit. And then we just worked some two stick disarms, basic snake variation. I'm gonna interrupt this and come into the head, okay? We come through and hit to the knee, come back into this position, strip this down. Okay. This is the basic form, the basic form, the ability to practice this motion. Is it realistic that he's not doing any of these other things? No, but that's not the point. The point is first understanding what I'm doing. This part here is tricky to originally understand. So you got to take time to figure it out. Then you apply it. I've got to keep this arm straight. If he bends this elbow, then my ability to take this becomes very difficult and he has control. So instead, I extend, create range, and here's where I can work all of this and then continue. I wouldn't actually hold that, I'd let it fall. Sorry. Right? Okay? But the opposite is true where I come through the outside, okay? Just looking at these positions here, here's my hit to the head, right? I came through here and here's the hit. So, so we come through this, can be in here and here, or you just move in to here. Strike to the head, strike through. Drawing back, this is the part that's creating the motion, right? And now I can take this with the puño. Or if my hands are crossed for this, okay? Then I come in underneath, this way. This is not the only application of disarms and, and with disarms, you never actually go for them if they present themselves. If we're working and I end up in a place where we're working and I find myself here, this is when the disarm happens. We practice it so that it can come out naturally. But the truth is, if you go for a disarm, you will fail. It can't be your goal. If it is your goal, it's not gonna happen because you'll, you'll be so paralyzed by analyzing how you're gonna accomplish it that you'll forget to be fluid and deal with the actual situation. So we're just working the mechanic. And this is the real thing here first, right? So this initial should be a smash to the hand, smash to the head, smash to the knee. Even if this doesn't happen, he's bringing that arm around and I just keep working and never go for the disarm, who cares? The primary disarm anyway is right through the hand. If he can't hold a stick, it's disarmed, right? That's the disarm you're really gonna use. But we're just working this snake position, right? Then you've got whatever, insert whatever here. That's just what we did today. Just some stuff. So, salamat. Salamat. Cool.